New details tonight about what happened when someone pulled out a knife on the Cass Blue Line. Today, Charlotte Area Transit released video from that incident that happened on June 5th. This is the third violent incident for Cats Transit in just two months. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis joins us now from South Charlotte. And Will, people you spoke to say they're always watchful now when using either form of public trans transit. There is a call for more security on the blue line and buses, and the transit system is working on that. One rider we spoke to says he will take the blue line during the day, but he won't ride it at night. It started in just seconds. One man lunging at another on the Cats Blue Line. Customers on the train that day scrambling and in shock. We're kind of all just like watching this, waiting for the cops to come. Cats released this video of the inside of the train. You can see passengers pulling the emergency switch to stop the train and then rushing to get off. The men struggle by the door and then continue to fight off the train, both with minor injuries, according to CMPD, but no charges have been filed. People who use the line say the video is troubling. Had any previous experience like that, but with these recent events, it might be that it's getting bad, so you always worry a little bit. I was just talking to someone about it, and I was like, yeah, it gets a little sketchy at night. So. But it's not just at night. There was a stabbing on the gold line near Uptown on May 4th at night, but a shootout between a bus driver and a passenger on May 18th was in the morning, and add this fight June 15th, a little before five in the afternoon. Make you more aware of your surroundings while taking the bus or the light rail. And for a growing city, some say the safety issue needs to be handled by adding more security. If not, passengers say the system may lose more riders. Avoid it at night, that's what I do. Now those people that say they won't take the blue line at night are only going two or three stops from South End to Uptown. Cat says there is alarm systems in place, and as you see on this video, a rider can always pull the emergency stop. In South End, Will Lewis, Queen City News.